Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. We certainly thank God and praise Him for His grace and His mercy, the love that He has shown toward us, and how He's allowed us to come back together one more time. Amen. 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 As they say, I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Yes. So let us uh, come before the Lord in prayer. Um, on my way coming here today, um, I saw another accident, you know, mm -hmm. so chain of accidents going on around the city. So let us pray uh, that the Lord will put his hand over and watch over people to be more alert while they're driving and a hedge of protection that he'll protect us from danger seen and unseen, you know, and things such as that. You know, sometimes you can let your mind drift, you know, and yeah. take your mind off the task of what you're doing and then, you know, you almost got to be a defensive driver as well. Right. Right. So, so let us pray uh, that the Lord will bless and, and uh, like I said, cover us with the blood and protect us. Yeah. And remember those that are going through in their bodies and their spirit. Uh, and pray for men and women and children everywhere. Pray for our Bible study on tonight. That's something to be said and done to inspire us, to encourage yes. us. Amen. And that we'll receive, with, as the scripture says, with meekness. The word of God. Amen. Amen. To the saving of our souls. Amen. <clears throat> Any other prayer requests? My brother. Amen. I just um, ask that we pray for one another. Uh, we keep you lifted up. We keep the church lifted up. Uh, we keep the children of the church lifted up. Yeah. Uh, you know, those that, like, as you said, those that were sick in their body. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I just want to uh, tell the Lord to thank you for all he's done in my life. Yeah. yeah, for what he's doing. Absolutely, he's doing great things. Uh, Elder Corey. Uh, a couple things, actually. Uh, my oldest son, we need to pray for him. He's going through it right now in the Lord. Yeah. He's running from God, really, but mm -hmm. pray the Lord will give him a mind to come to himself to get saved. Yeah. And, uh, and then my boss's son, he's, he's also having a hard way to go right now with his son. But uh, and also remember me, I'm I'm just depending on God for a miracle with this surgery thing. I had to cancel the surgery completely. Oh yeah. Yeah. So um, at this point, this is a God thing. Mm -hmm. So you know, so just pray for me on that. The Lord will touch me and give me a miracle in that regard. All right, Amen. 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 He can do it. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's in the miracle working business. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, My sister. Praise the Lord. Pray for, for me. Oh, okay. Pray for Amen. Amen. All right. My brother? Uh, pray for me that I can get drunk call me to do. Yeah. I can get him to run out. He can tell him out of my house what I do. Yeah. Amen. Amen. All right. There'll be none other request. I'd like that as the church to stay. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And let every heart pray, O oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. We certainly thank you and praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for how you've blessed us and watched over us and kept us even to this very hour that you have brought us here on this day, hallelujah, to worship you and to praise your holy name. We ask you, Lord, that you sanctify our hearts, our minds, our spirit, our soul, and our bodies. We pray, Lord, that you would blood wash us and cleanse us, that you would purge us from all unrighteousness, from every word, thought, deed, and every secret thought. And we pray, Lord, that you would bless each and every request that's been made known to you. Hallelujah. Move by your power. Move by your grace. Uh, touch bodies. Touch spirits, souls, and bodies, Lord. Touch our family members, our loved ones. Even our own desires, Lord. Hallelujah. Let them line up with you, Lord, and grant us, Lord, according to your will. In the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you would bless the Bible study on tonight. Send forth a word of strength and encouragement and correction. 
and strength in the name of Jesus. You, let your grace be with us. Let it be on us. Yes, uh, let us humble ourselves and seek you and call on your holy and precious name. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you and praise you, give you glory and honor. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Say happy birthday to Sister Davis. Amen. 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 Great, and he's greatly to be praised. Amen. We thank God on tonight. Uh, that he has allowed us to come together. Amen. The scripture said he allowed us to come together. One more, the scripture don't say it. We sing it. <laughs> he allowed us to come together one more time. Amen. Yeah. One more time. One more time. He allowed us to come together one more time. And I thank God because um, it's not of our own mind. It's not of our own will not of our own desire that we come into the house of the Lord. God has to give you a mind uh, to come to the house of the Lord. And we ought to appreciate uh, that mind, that mind uh, that he gives us to come into the house of the Lord. Don't take it for granted. Amen. There's a lot of things that uh, we could be doing, but we uh, have decided to come to the house of the Lord. That's a great thing. Yes, Amen. Is. That's a great thing. And it's a, it's a beautiful thing uh, when you realize how great it is. Yes. Amen. All right. So uh, tonight, tonight, um, I want to, uh, I hope you got your Bibles because uh, tonight we really are going to, to, to delve into some scriptures and uh, more or less allow the word of God to speak unto us. Amen? Amen. Amen. Ain't that what we want to do? Amen. <laughs> so tonight, I want to talk uh, about walking in humility. Amen? About walking in humility. And um, the, the world's definition of humility when someone says, I'm humble, in the world, they're talking about really thinking less of themselves and uh, uh, to the point where it's uh, a sense of low self-esteem, yes. having low self-esteem sure. and thinking less of themselves than they ought to yes. and having no self-worth. Uh, and uh, when the Bible talks about uh, humbleness and humility, it's a total different definition. Yeah. It's a total different thing uh, when God speaks about being humble. Amen. Being humble and having humility. And uh, for that definition, uh, I want to go over to uh, Colossians. Colossians uh, chapter number three. Amen. Colossians chapter number three. Talking about humility and why humility is important. Amen. Humility is important because it, it, it's how we serve God. Amen. We serve God in humility. Amen. Humbleness of mind and spirit. Amen. Amen. And then the, the, the antagonist of humility. Antagonist. The, the, the opposite of Humility is pride. Amen. Pride. Pride is like gas to humility. It'll burn it up. Amen. It'll, it'll, it'll mess up the whole thing. Uh, because some people on the outward appearance of humility uh, have an inward state of pride. Uh, and that, that pride messes up the whole thing. Amen. It's, a, it's, it's sneaky. <laughs> uh, it's sneaky. It'll sneak up on you. Wow. Uh, it'll, it'll catch you. Amen. And, and, and God, God is uh, against pride in the sense of you can have pride in what you do and uh, take pride in what you say 
But when, when I'm talking about pride here now, is the, the feeling of entitlement. Uh, yes. Like, I, I deserve this. Yes. Uh, this belongs to me. I deserve it. Uh, and, and because of that, I want special privileges. Uh, I want special privileges. I'm entitled to it. And, wow. and that other, uh, I'm getting deep into my Bible study now, but, but, but the other sense of it is, is that I, 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 I look down on others. Uh, I look down on them uh, as, as beneath me. Uh, they're beneath me. Uh, and, that, and that type of entitlement and sense of pride goes against the scriptures, goes against the word of God. Uh, my brother? I, I've been studying a little bit about um, narcissistic families and narcissistic abuse. Uh -huh. And there's a huge rise of it there has been in this country uh, since the 50s. Yeah. And um, now our society is literally riddled with it. And a lot of people who are being abused by it don't even know what it is. Right. So they blame themselves right. for the treatment they're receiving from the narcissist. Right. Because they don't have any God in their life either. It's the only thing they yeah. come up with. Yeah. Now, did you hear what he said? He, he's talking about narcissists. Narcissists are people who uh, are really focused on themselves. It's an attitude of me, myself, and I. And when you have an attitude of me, myself, and I in pride, uh, part of what he said, uh, uh, when things don't work out, they're not realizing what the issue is. Right. You don't realize what the problem is. Okay. Uh, the problem is me. Right. <laughs> the problem is you. Right. <laughs> we think the problem is somebody else. Everybody, yeah. Everybody else but me. Uh, that reminds me of Michael Jackson and his song. I I'm looking at the man yeah. in the mirror. Uh, it's me. Uh, yes. It's me. I have to change my way. Yes. Amen. I have to yes. change my name. And that's, and that's how subtle it is. Uh, it's, a, it's a sneaky beast. Uh, thank you, Lord. So that's why the Lord has, has literally uh, is, is bringing us here now to these scriptures uh, to help us to see. Amen. To help us to see and understand. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. All right. So in the book of Colossians, then, let's start out then now looking at a biblical definition of humility. Amen? A biblical definition of humility. And in the book of Colossians, uh, chapter number three, oh, I'm in chapter number one, let me get over there. Chapter number three, and uh, drop down then, uh, Corey, I'm going to ask you to uh, read, start reading with uh, verse number 12. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. Read. Forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. Now, oh, read the next one. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfect, perfectness. Uh-huh. Read. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. All right, now, humility, humbleness, is, 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 is a state of mind. See that? Uh, um, put on, therefore, as the elect. So you got to put this on. Uh, you got to put it on. <laughs> Meaning that you got to work at it. Uh, just, it's not just something that happens. Wow. Amen? You, you're, not, you're not born with this type of humility, godly humbleness. Amen? Yeah. And he said, put on, uh, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, beloved uh, bowels of mercy, kindness. Humbleness deals with mercy, being merciful. Amen. Yeah. Merciful is meaning that that you 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 are gracious to forgive others. Amen. Those that offend you, you are gracious to forgive them. Amen. Amen. You're not holding the grudges. 
Amen. Uh, one of the biggest, biggest enemies of, of, of not only the body of Christ, but mankind is unforgiveness. Yes. Yes. Amen. Unforgiveness will kill you. Uh, it'll literally kill you uh, because it's a poison that the enemy uses against you. Amen? So he says, put on uh, bowels of mercies. Notice, hum come kindness. Now notice he says, humbleness of mind. Amen? So it's a, it's a literally a state of mind. Amen? It's a state of mind that you're in. And that state of mind that you're in, it's, it's an acceptance of God's will and a willingness to serve others. Amen? Yeah. Uh, that's humbleness. An acceptance of the will of God, uh, whatever the, the word of God says, you accept it. Uh, and a willingness to serve others. It's twofold. Amen? It's twofold. It's a willingness to accept the word of God, uh, which goes against our human grain. Uh, and it's, it's a willingness to serve others. Amen? According to God's will. Yeah. Uh, Y'all with me? Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, notice. Uh, humbleness of mind, meekness, uh, humility deals with meekness. Notice, long-suffering. Uh, notice, forbearing one another. Uh, what does that word forbearing mean? Putting up with, Putting up with enduring, dealing with. Dealing with. Dealing with. Yeah. Amen? Uh, de de dealing with other people. Amen? Putting up with other people. Uh, Y'all with me? Notice, notice. And I'm, and I'm going somewhere with this. And forgiving one another. Amen? Forgiving one another. If any have a quarrel. What's a quarrel? Argument. We have arguments every day with folk. <laughs> uh, some of y'all probably just got into an argument. <laughs> uh, but now just let it go. Uh, forgiving them. Amen? Forgiving one another. If you have a quarrel uh, against any... Even as Christ, notice, forgave you, huh? you also forgive them. Yes. Amen? Yes. And above all these, put on what? Charity. charity. What is charity? Love. love. Amen? Charity. Love. All right? Notice, which is the bond of perfectness. Uh, and let the peace of God, allow God's peace to rule in your heart, uh, uh, to the which also you are called into one body and be what? Thankful. thankful. Be thankful. That's, 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 that's the biblical definition of humility. Amen. If you clear them hurdles, you're a humble individual. Uh, if you don't, you got something to work on. Amen. You got something to work on. Amen. Now, now, uh, 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 so I said that humility is the focus on the will of God and serving others. All right, let's go over here to Matthew, Matthew chapter number 20. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew chapter number 20. When you have it, say amen. All right, hold on, let me get there with you. Matthew chapter number 20 and drop down to verse 26. All right, read. It shall not be so among okay, you. Okay, wait a minute. Read verse, read verse uh, 25. But Jesus called them unto him and said, Ye know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them, and they that are and they that are great exercise authority upon them. All right, so there was a question about who's going to be great in the kingdom. Huh? That's, a, that's a prideful kind of question. Mm -hmm. uh, pride deals with ruling over. Yeah, sure. Amen? Uh, ruling over. You got that? Yeah. So Jesus says, 
Uh, uh, verse 26. But it shall not be so among you. Uh huh. But whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. Now, what does the word minister mean? Servant. 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 Amen. If you want to be great in God's kingdom, focus on servanthood. Amen. Humility. Serving one another. All right, read. And whosoever will be chief among you, uh, let him be your servant. Let him be your servant. Read. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, uh -huh. but to minister. Yeah. And to give his life a ransom for many. Now, Jesus, he, he said, I'm leaving you an example. Amen. I'm leaving you an example of humility. Amen. Not, he said, I came not to be ministered to. He said, I came to serve. Right. Uh, and he gave us the ultimate sacrifice. He gave of his life. Amen. Notice, he gave of his life according to the will of God. Uh, it is written of me in the volume of the book to what? To do thy will, O God. Amen. The same scripture applies to you. It is written of you yeah. uh, in the volume of this book. Amen. Your life is written in this book. Your obedience, how you should live, is written in this book. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's, 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 it's becoming of you to submit yourself to whatever God's will is. Amen. And do it. That's humility. Amen. Not exerting your own will. Amen. Not exerting your own desire. Uh, but submitting to the desires of the Lord. Amen. Y'all with me? Let me hear one more scripture. Then we're going to get really into this. All right, my brother. Yeah, the Lord had revealed to me um, about that verse. I was trying to read it where it said, the Lord said, I will give you the desires of your heart. Uh-huh. Um, that, ever since I first heard that preach, that never sat right in, in the Holy Ghost within me. Uh-huh. I didn't know why. So, about three, three, four years ago, I was trying to read that verse, and the Holy Ghost kept, the Lord kept stopping me. After the first two words, I will. Uh-huh. And to the point where I was getting frustrated. And then I ended up asking, I said, well, Lord, what are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to show me? Yes. So he said, I, God. Yes. I will. Yes. Give you the desires of your heart. Yes. Meaning I will put the desires that I want you to have. Yes. In your heart. Yes. You know, because God is, God is no, sometimes our desires don't line up to the will of God. So it don't make, it don't make sense to. Say, God will just give us the desires of our Right. Yeah, so he revealed to me that is the meaning of that, that scripture. Because what, what he's explaining is that God wants to give us the desires of his heart. Yes. Right? Right, because we're fallen. Right. Uh, we, 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 we all have sinned right. uh, and come short of the glory of God. Our minds are deceitful. Yes. Uh, we don't like to yes. think about it like that. But my mind will deceive me. Yes. My mind will tell me I'm, I'm greater than what I am. Right. Uh, or, yes. or lower than what I am. Yes. Huh? You follow what I'm saying? Yes. My, my mind will have me to think I'm all right and I'm all wrong. For sure. Huh? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Uh, it's, it's, like, it's like putting on a, a suit huh? and you walk out, you think you're sharper than a tank. Huh? Then when you go out there, people looking at you and you say, why folks looking at me? And they say, and then you look in the mirror and say, oh man, I got bitch mask shoes on. I, I, I don't have the right colors on. I, I'm all jacked up. Yeah. Huh? But when you went out there, you thought you was all right. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Because that's your mind. Yeah. Huh? Our mind will deceive us. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes. I can justify myself in a heartbeat. Sure. Uh, why I cussed them out? I can justify. <laughs> uh, why I told them off? I can justify. Sure. Uh, you follow what I'm saying? Sure. Uh, thank you. We can all do that. Uh, but, but, but notice, God, he has...
has to give us the right way of thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? He has to help us. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, he has to help us to do right. Uh, that's, why, that's why I said earlier about coming to the house of the Lord. We don't come to the house of the Lord on our own. God helps us. Yes. Amen. He gives us a mind yes. to come to the house of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Now, um, go with me over here to, to St. John. We're talking about greatness now. Be great. Uh, St. John chapter 13. And um, we want to read. Y'all need a Bible. Get them, get them, get them sisters. And brothers and sisters are fine. Y'all got a Bible on your phone? Oh, oh, y'all good? Oh, okay, all right, all right. Hey, man, I want everybody to have an opportunity. I'm an equal opportunity preacher. <laughs> Amen. All right. Uh, St. John. St. John. Chapter 13. And read, start reading verse 13. You call me Master and Lord. All right, now notice, this is Jesus talking. He said, you call me Master and what? Lord. Lord. Don't we call him that? Yes. Yes. That means what? What does that mean? Ruler. Ruler. Uh, he, well, we've been bought with a price. Yes. He said owner. Amen? Amen. So, so he lords over us. We submit to his authority. Yes. Amen? That's what humbleness is. Uh, humility is submitting to his authority. Amen? Amen? Uh, Y'all with me today? Uh, All right, me. You call me master and lord, and you say well, uh -huh. for, so, for so I am. Now know it. He says, so I am. Read. If I then, your lord and master... Have washed your feet. Uh huh. You also ought to ought to wash one another's feet. Now, if I have if I have served you, uh, you ought to serve what? One another. One another. Amen. Amen. Be helpers one to another. We are still talking about the definition of humility. Amen. What stops us from helping one another is pride. Amen. 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 Pride. Uh, no, I ain't doing that. Uh, I ain't doing that. No, they don't deserve that. Uh, no, nope, I ain't going. I, I, nope, I ain't doing it. Uh, no, nope, they, they they should do it on themselves. They'll do it on their own. Uh, I'm tired of them. I don't like them. You see the way they looked at me? Uh, see the way they talked about me? Uh, justifying the action. Uh, what, what's the stem of that? Pride. Uh, pride. Uh, you with me? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord God. Ooh, go ahead. Read. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Uh-huh. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. All right, now, the servant is not greater than Jesus. He's the Lord. Uh, I'm not greater than Jesus. You're not greater than Jesus. Amen? Uh, so if he did it, we can do it. Uh, uh, if he did it, we have to do it. Amen? He left us an example that we should follow in his steps. Am I right? Hallelujah. Uh, my sister? Yeah. Yep, mark the perfect man. Amen. Behold the upright. Uh, behold. Look, take notice uh, of the upright. Jesus. Amen. Take notice of what he did. Amen. Uh, Y'all with me? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Take notice. Pay attention to what he said. Amen. Follow in his steps. Follow his example. Humility. That's what humility is. It's not, it's not thinking lowly of yourself in the sense of you being a doormat. It's about submitting yourself to the word of God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, my brother? Yeah, uh, the Bible says that we were created. That's why we were created. 
Yes. To be in his life. Yes. So, so we should, like you say, we should see how he lived and, and actions he took. Absolutely. And, and, and live that. Yes. My brother, read what verse in? 16. All right, read. Read to 17. All right. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. Uh-huh. If you know these things, happy are ye if you do them. Now notice, if you know these things, if you know what I'm saying is true. Let me rephrase that. If you know what the word is saying is true. Notice, where's your happiness coming from? The word. Nope. No where's your happiness coming from? Read it. If you know these things, happy oh, no are you if you do them. If you do them. Okay. That's where your happiness is going to come from. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Not just knowing. Right. Uh, if you what? Do them. Do them. Yeah. Amen. Uh, so, so see, there it is again. I keep coming back to it. You, we wonder why we got struggles. Uh, why things don't work out. Uh, if it's not working out because you're not submitting. Uh, your happiness is not there. The joy is not there. It's because you're not submitting. Uh, uh, and you can submit, but not submit with the right attitude and still not get what you're looking for. Uh, because because pride is there. Wow. Right. Uh, Y'all with me? Yes, uh, you, your happiness is released when you do these things. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. This is a good Bible. So I'm going to relook at this when I get home. <laughs> uh, hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, let's go over then. Let's go over then uh, because we talked about why I got problems. Right? Why I got issues? Sure. Huh? Let's go over, my God. Let's go over to James chapter number four. Huh? James chapter number four. And let's start out with verse number one. Hallelujah. So we all know what we all know what humbleness is, right? Right. All right. What is it? To the will of God and being willing to serve others. There you go, Jesus. Somebody listen. <laughs> All right. James chapter number one. I'm sorry, chapter number four and verse number one. From whence come, come wars and fightings among you. Now notice, notice, listen to this language. For what is the origin? What is the origin? Huh? Of wars and, and fighting among you. Huh? Why do we argue and why do we fight? Huh? What's the origin of it? Read. Come they not hence even of your lust that war in your members? Huh? Your own evil desires. Yes. Huh? That's why uh, you can't get along with nobody. Wow. Huh? If you can't get along with nobody, wow. huh? <laughs> who got the problem? You do. Yeah. Huh? If, if all your friends become your ex-friends, huh? your kids, wow. See, now you're in my notes. Huh? Because, yeah, because that, that, that happens. On your job, you got wars. Yeah. Huh? At, at home, you got wars. Uh, in the church, you got wars. Against your neighbors, uh, you got wars. You got problems. Huh? Within your own marriage, your relationship, you got wars. You can't get along with your children. Your children want to disown you. Huh? That's a, that's a problem. Huh? And, and, and you can't, pride will say, they got the problem. <laughs> Pride will say it's their issue, not my issue. Yes. Huh? Right. Huh? But 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 it's a problem that that has to be dealt with. Yes. yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. wow. And that's why I love the book of James. James gives it to you straight, uh, straight up, not on the rock. He gives it to you straight up. Uh, no chasing. <laughs> Give it to you straight. 
Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. So what is he saying? What is he saying? Want to read one again? Yeah, read that again. That's good. From whence come wars and fightings among you. Okay, what, what's the origin of the wars and fighting among you? Read. Come they not hence even of your lust that war in your members? Now know it. It comes from evil desires within you. Yes. Amen? Amen. Evil desires within us. Huh? Amen. You follow me? It's something, it's something in me. Yes. Huh? That I got to deal with. Huh? This, uh, my pride, my, 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 my evil desires. I got to deal with that. Right. Amen? Uh, I can't, uh, some people say it's my way or the highway. Wow. Huh? My way or the highway. You got to do it like I say do it. Huh? Get up out of here. There was a movie in the 60s. I forgot the name of that movie. But there was, it was about, some of y'all may recall it. It was about a mother and a daughter. And the daughter couldn't do nothing right. The mother was real controlled. Huh? I know, I forgot. Yeah, the mama was real controlling. Huh? Yeah, mommy dearest. That was it. Yeah, she's real. How many of y'all seen that movie? Uh, some of y'all did. Y'all need to go YouTube that movie. Uh, uh, she was, she was rough. Huh? And and what what stick out in my mind was the day that the girl hung her dress on a wire hanger. Oh, yeah. oh that, was, ooh, that was it. She beat her with that, that hand. Yeah. Huh? Oh my goodness. I was like, wow. Yeah. Uh, it was that was terrorizing for me to watch. Yeah, that was huh? I, that, that was off the chain. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, got a problem. Yeah. Uh, crazy. Yes, you are. Yeah. Woo, got a problem. Uh, but some people are controlling like that. Uh, wow. Uh, and they don't think that they got the problem. They think that you got the problem. She hung the dress up. Uh, if you didn't like the hanger, just give her another hanger. Uh, just give her a different hanger. Say, here, baby, use this hanger. Thank you for hanging it. Use this hanger. You follow what I'm saying? Uh, now, now read. What does it say? You lust and have not. Now notice, notice, notice. Why don't you have anything? You lust. Uh, you're lusting after it. Uh, evil desire. Uh, why not? You somebody say, why isn't God blessing me? Uh, because I got the wrong motive. Huh? I want it for all the wrong reasons. Uh, God judges your motives. He looks at your heart. Huh? Thank you, Lord. You follow me? Read. What's that? You lust and have not. You kill and desire to have. Uh, now, now I'm killing folk. I'm, I'm killing them. Huh? And, and I'm, why am I killing them? Because I want their stuff. Oh, no. Huh? That's not humility. Huh? Leave other folks' stuff alone. <laughs> Amen? <Right. laughs> wow. hmm. uh, I was uh, talking to this one guy. And uh, he told me we were, uh, uh, we was actually, uh, no, nah, I'm going to let it go. Thank you, Lord. All right, go ahead, read, brother. You lust and have not. Uh-huh. You kill and desire to have. Read. And cannot obtain. Uh-huh. You fight and war, yet you have not. Uh-huh. Now, that's not humility. Fighting, trying to get my way. Amen? Mm-hmm. Huh? And what did he say? You war and what? You fight and war. Uh huh. Yet you have not. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because you ask not. Right. Because you're not you're not asking. You have not because you what? Ask. Ask not. You not you're not praying with the right attitude. Right. You're not praying in humility. You're not praying so that God can be exalted, yeah. uh, and so that others can be blessed. You're playing for you yourself and I. Our all me attitude. Yeah. It's me. Wow. Uh, it's me, God. Uh, you know what I desire. Uh, bless me. Yeah. Uh, so, so I can be blessed. Hmm. Uh, but that's not how God works. No. Uh, God doesn't work like that. Uh, God, God wants to bless you so that you can bless others. Yeah. It's more blessed to what? 
Then to what? Receive. Receive. You follow? Huh? My brother? Yeah, it was a guy that I was praying for, and um, he was telling me what he was struggling with. Uh-huh. You know, and it's, it's, it's got him uh, in bondage. Yeah. Uh, he he want to do the right thing, but he, he can't because it's, it's, he is, he is a slave to it. So I told him, I said, man, you just have to pray and ask God, if it's not of you, I don't want it. Yeah. I, that's, you know, people don't want to pray the tough prayers. I call that, that's, that's a tough prayer. Yeah. But, but if you really want to be free. Pray the will of God. Yes. That's yes. it. Yeah. All right, read. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss. Uh huh. And ye may consume it upon your lust. The, the wrong motive. The wrong motive. God judges your motive. Why did you do what you did? Yeah. Why are you asking Him for what you're asking Him for? Amen? Huh? Y'all with me? Motive, desire. Huh? Gotta have desire and motive right. Your inward right. Amen. Amen. Your heart right. Your thoughts right. Amen. I read. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, <laughs> know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. I read. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Read. Do ye think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit that dwells in us lusts to envy? Uh, now, the spirit, our human spirit, that's in us. This is deep here. It, it desires a, a, a lust is toward envious things. Amen. Uh, we want we want the best shoes. We want we want the best clothes. Name brand. Uh, I gotta have the name brand. Uh, 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 now it, it just blew my mind. It just blew my mind. You know, coming up, I used to ride the bus all the time. Uh, now I tell my children, I said, y'all get on the bus. What? Get on the bus? On the bus? Yeah. I said, yeah, what's wrong with that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You get you meet some friends, somebody may share a snack. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, uh, you get to watch the scenery. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get on the bus. Come yeah. on, Dad. <laughs> huh? Uh, they think I love child abuse. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What? I couldn't believe it. <laughs> There's people in college, like 19, I'll be hearing, you know, women saying, oh, I got to give my son a ride to the store or a ride to school. I'm like, oh, he's 19. Right. So, I mean, you got to give him a ride. Right. Right. That's, like, that's, that's something in us. <laughs> uh, something in us that, that, that got to excel. Uh, 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 above the rest to not not whoo, here we go not to be like Satan how he was Lucifer I'm going to exalt my kingdom above God uh, I'm going to be like I'm going to be better than God uh, uh, what happened to him fail uh, pride 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 got him Amen. Amen. And you know, ooh, can I teach up in here? If, if we were to look at Ezekiel, Ezekiel will tell you that the one of the things that got him, he, he was beautiful. Yeah. Huh? And his beauty got him. Yeah. Huh? He looked in the mirror. I don't, I don't know if he had a mirror. But he looked in the mirror <laughs> huh, and saw how beautiful he was and fell in love. Wow. Fell in love with himself. Narcissistic. Huh? Yeah. Uh, watch it! Uh, don't don't think that, that you're so beautiful. Because uh, the, the Bible puts you in the place. It says it's like grass. Uh, uh, it'll fade away. Yeah. Amen? Like the flower in the field. Uh, it'll fade away. Uh, you follow me? Hey, we got to watch it. Uh, don't be vain. Yeah. Amen? Hallelujah. <laughs> I may have some big bolted muscles, but I keep on living. Uh, stuff's going to start sagging. Uh, I may have a Coca-Cola bottle shit. Uh, I keep on eating. Uh, something's going to happen.
Huh? We gotta watch it. We gotta watch it. Huh? Don't touch my hair. My hair is beautiful. Huh? Huh? Gotta watch it. Vain. Amen. Vanity. Wow. Huh? Thank you, Lord. I'm just, just now. Now, let me say this. There's nothing wrong with us enjoying the way God has made us, accepting who we are. Huh? But the problem is, is when I excel it. To, ain't nobody prettier than I am. Ain't nobody handsomer than I am. I'm the handsomest, most handsomest person in the world. I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> huh? Huh? I'm, I, I got it going on. My stuff don't stink. And, and, and it's just me. Huh? That's a problem. Am I right? That's a problem. And then what's also a problem, I got to teach the whole thing, with thinking too lowly of yourself. Uh, that I'm nothing. That I'm ugly. Uh, that, that, because everything God made, he said it's beautiful. Uh, uh, so I can't, I can't think more, I can't think more lowly of myself than I ought to think. You follow me? Be satisfied for who you are. Accept who you are. Man, I'm teaching now. I'm psychological teaching now. Huh? <laughs> Accept who you are. Accept your tools. Yes. Accept your gifts. Amen? Uh, now, I would love to play the organ like Brother Corey, but I ain't got that gift. So I just enjoy his gift. Yes. Huh? And then in my mind, I can fantasize that I'm playing. <laughs> huh? Yes. Huh? Huh? Just accept it. Right? Play, see, there you go. I, I, how do people play the air guitar? Think they getting it? Huh? Play, huh? Huh? Accept who you are. Amen. Don't be like the enemy. Huh? He exalted himself. He thought he was better. Woo, see, now here we go. He thought he was better, and he influenced one third of the enemy. Huh? My God, like a little hippie. Yeah. Yep, your mind popped. Uh, but he was beautiful. He had gifts. Huh? The Bible even says he was perfect until he 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 deceived himself. My God, we gotta watch it. Yes. Amen. All right, read. Where we at? We're in four. And four right now. I read. You adulterers and adulteresses. Uh huh. Know you not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Read. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Uh huh. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwells in us lusts to envy? Yes. But he giveth more grace. Now here we go. Now listen. This is why we're here. Uh, this is the second reason why we're here. First reason why we're here is verse number one to call, tell you what the problem is. What verse are you on now? We're on verse uh, six. Now, verse six is the second reason why we're here. Mm -hmm. All right, read. But he giveth more grace. God gives more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud. Now notice, God resists the proud. But giveth grace unto the humble. Right. But he does what? Giveth grace unto the he humble. He gives grace unto to the humble. God resists the proud but gives grace to who? The humble. The humble. When you humble yourself, God will give you grace. The only way, now this is, this is Bible truth here, to receive the grace of God is through humbling yourself. If you don't humble yourself, you'll never receive the grace of God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Why do I need, what is the grace of God? God's faith, God's strength. Amen? God's ability. Hallelujah. To do what he said. The only way that you will receive that is through humbleness. 
Amen. Anyone that does not humble themselves will never, ever receive God's grace. I can't stress that enough. My brother. <laughs> yeah, uh, I like to order um, when Jesus uh, was talking. Um, the first thing he, he was told them was that wanted to follow him. He said, deny yourself. That's uh -huh. the first thing he told them. Right. He said, deny yourself. And do what? Pick up your cross. And do what? Follow me. Follow me. But Amen. that's not going to happen. We're not going to pick up our cross. Right. Until we deny ourselves. Right. Humble ourselves. Yeah. That's, uh, the, first, that's the first thing. And, 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 and pick up whatever your issue is and do what? Follow him. Amen. What stops an individual from following after the Lord is pride. Huh? Which, which is uh, another form of pride. Yeah. Component of it. Thank you, Lord. All right. Read. 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 Go ahead. So to your point that you made earlier about why people struggle. Right. And with this verse, it says that God resists you. That's why you struggle. That's why you struggle. So God is resisting you. Right. Because you won't humble yourself. So he can't release his grace to help you. Wow. Now notice. That's, I'm glad you brought that up. Notice. Notice. God, God wants me to, 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 to help this brother. Right? I don't like this brother. Huh? So, uh, so, 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 because I don't like him, I'm not going to do the will of God. Right? So, so God is not going to bless me uh, because he's doing what? He's resisting me. You follow me? Because I'm not doing what he said. Now, notice the chain reaction. Now, I say, Lord, you know I don't like Corey. And I want you to help me to love him so I can do your will. Right? Yes. Now, I put that out there. I'm humbling myself. Now God gives me the grace. So when I see Corey, I can help him. Yes. You follow me? What released the grace? Me humbling myself uh, to the will of God. That's a simple principle to everything. Huh? I have issues giving tithes and offerings. Lord, you know that church is wicked. They're going to take this money and do something I don't like. But Lord, 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 give. I know your word says for me to tithe and give an offering. Help me. God will give you the grace. Amen. To help you to give so that you can do right. Lord, you know this wife you gave me is causing me some problems. Huh? And I and oh Lord, you who do you know? Uh, but Lord, help me. Help me to do treat my wife right. Yes. Now you're gonna give me some grace. Yes. Yeah. Uh, to help me to treat my wife right. Yes. From that that simple analogy. Is, is across the board. Yeah. Huh? My sister? As I'm sitting here and listening to you, I'm just thinking about it's all about the position of your heart. Woo! That's it! If your heart is in the right position, yeah. you're in the right place. If your heart is in the right position, you get the right That's position. it! But if it's not, then that's when you turn to the pride. That's when you turn to the evil and the lust of your own flesh because your heart is out of position. Yeah! Notice, notice, when we read Colossians chapter 3, and I believe with verse 1 or 4, 13, whatever verse that was, it says, humbleness of mind. That's your heart. Got to be in the right position to serve God. Amen. To serve others. Amen. Submitting to what God's will is and serve Him to serve others. Amen. Y'all with me tonight? Amen. All right. Right.
Well, that's where that long suffering comes in. Now, when you say mistreating, now, um, there's two ways I'm thinking of that. Somebody's beating your head, you know, then, you know, you retaliate. <laughs> you don't let them beat your head. You know what I mean? God, God ain't into that. Uh, he ain't into that. Uh, but now, if, if, if someone is always just talking about you, mistreating you, that kind of way, uh, you love on them. You long suffering. You give them the drink. You feed them. You follow me? You, 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 you stay humble, submissive to the will of God, and then allow God to fight your battle. Amen? Allow God to fight your battle. He'll give you grace. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Now that go against the flesh. I feel y'all. It's like, uh-uh. Uh-uh, but I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you. Got chicken here for a minute. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at my blood. He's right here. He's looking at me. He comes out of the way. He's out of He's out of I don't know about that, man. But, yeah, because you know what? There are people in this world, we call them narcissists, they get off on mistreating others. They actually get a certain pleasure. And there's a science to it. And you know, if you're in close proximity or quarters with these people, you find yourself in a psychological battle on a pretty regular basis. Or it could even be physical. You know, which is, there's where the thin line is. So long-suffering, I used to think, well, it just shows how much I love my father to let him treat me like that. He used to pick me up by the neck and throw me against the wall. Oh, see that too. But I'm saying, but I dealt with this for over 40 years. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, you know, you wonder why you grow up rough. You can fight. You can do, you know, you do drugs. You drink. Uh -huh. You grew up in a house like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't have a choice when I was a kid. So, like, stuff like that. I hear what you're saying. It's like, when do you draw the line and it's not long suffering? Now you're just surviving and you get away from these people. Well... <laughs> That's what I did. I just bailed. I was like, hey, yeah, I'll call you back tomorrow. Look later. And I knew we were going to tick them off. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I ain't talked to anybody about this. I could care less. I mean, I love nothing, nothing. He's evil. Yeah. 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 Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' now, sake. Now, you blessed. They persecute you for righteousness' sake because you're standing up for what's right. Read. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven belongs to you. Read. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Now, this is what you should do. Verse number 12. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. Yeah. For great is your reward in heaven. That's a heart thing. That's a mind thing. Having your mind in the righteous. Now let's go get the flesh. Huh? Huh? The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yeah. But if you submit to this, God will be your avenger. Yes. Huh? God will protect you. Yes. Huh? That's where that trust comes in. I trust you. See, now, 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 see, we're getting into the deeper part of my lesson. That's where that love thing comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, if you love me, you'll do what? Keep my command. Read, read that. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. Uh-huh. For great is your reward in heaven. Read. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Amen. All right. But you had your hand up. Yes. You know, when you realize that you need help, that alone will give your mind change if your heart is right. You realize that your help comes from God. Only God can help you in a situation where your flesh won't bend. Right. And it causes you to pray sincere, fervent prayers. Uh huh. For God to answer you, and then God will give you that grace. Yes. To put up with whatever you need to put up with until you do get the victory. Until he get. Ooh, I like that. Yes. I like that. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. You got to first acknowledge that 
that you need help. Yes. But see, God, uh, that's God's really. Craft is about uh, being like Christ. He's our yardstick. Yeah. yeah. And the reason that He wants us to be like Him because that's transforming our life. Yeah. So you got to be transformed in order to be like Christ. Yeah. So everything in this Bible that He say do, flesh is against it. Against it. Totally. And, and we got to realize that all of our help comes from God. Yeah. And once we realize that, we realize that we can only get what we want from God through fasting and praying. Uh. And that will give us the faith. It will give us the tools that we need to endure. Yeah. And I'm going to add a little bit of something to that toward the end because now you're getting on my good start of my Bible class at the end. Uh, uh, what she's saying connects to what you were saying about getting into the headspace. Uh, 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 when, when people are saying negative stuff about you and uh, uh, whatever, you don't have to react to that. Uh, what causes you to react to that is your own pride. You feel like you gotta say something. You feel like you gotta say something. Yeah. Uh, uh, but you don't have to react to what people say against you negatively. Uh, you don't have to give them that kind of power over you. Uh, you know who you are. Uh, uh, you know uh, who you are. Amen. And then when you when you resist it, don't give them that kind of reaction. Uh, they'll move on. They see that that's not bothering you. Uh, now who's the author of it? The enemy. Uh, my fight is not against flesh and blood. But against principalities and powers, spiritual wickedness. My fight ain't against him. My fight ain't against him. My fight may be against against the spirit that's using me. Huh? So I take authority over that spirit. Who I'm preaching now. How do you take authority? By submitting to God. By submitting to His authority. Yes. I hope y'all got that. Yeah. Huh? That's where, that's where your security comes from. Huh? That's where your victory comes from. Yes. Submission to him. Yes. Now, what if I act all out? I act all seemingly. Huh? I go punch him in the nose. Boop! Punch him in the nose. Who lost the victory? You did. I did. Who looked like the fool? You did. Who looked like Bobo the Clown? Me! Who they gonna talk about? Me! Oh, Bishop Quinn didn't hit him. They, they, they looked at what he did to me. Uh-uh, Bishop, he think he's all that. And now look at him. Uh, I knew he wasn't no good. Uh, I knew it. I knew it. Huh? You showed your feelings by action. Right. Right. That's why when you do that, then people only see what you do and say. That's it. Somebody because they are doing you wrong, then they're going to see your action. Right. Now, notice. I, yep. Let's, let's, we got to move on. But notice, it's like a, a football game. You know, I, I, I hit an individual. You know, the referee don't see that. The inter and this brother hit me. The referee see that. That's when he throw the flag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh? People don't see what other people are doing to you. Huh? But they see you. Reacting to them. Wow. Huh? And what's causing you to react? Pride. Jealousy. You can't talk about me. Wow. Huh? You can't talk about me. Why not? They talked about Jesus. Huh? You follow me? Now, but my focus has to be on the Lord. Right. Yeah. All right. Now, did you finish reading that? We read uh, verse 12. Now we're at 13. Ye are the salt of the earth. All right. That's good. Ah, uh, no, no. We got to go back. We talking about, talking about humility. All right. All right. Go to Proverbs. Proverbs. Proverbs 15, 33. 
Lord Jesus. This may be, have to be a part two. Proverbs 15. The fear of the Lord is, in, is the instruction of wisdom. All right, now note. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of witness, uh, uh, wisdom. wisdom. Now here we are. This is the verse we're after. This is the part we have. Part B. What does it say? And before honor is humility. Now notice. Before God can honor you, you have to be humble. Wow. You see that? Now, let that sink in for a minute. Before God honors me, I have to be humble. I have to be submitted to his will. You see that? If I'm not submitted to his will, is he going to honor me? No. Nope. Is he going to honor you? No. I'll resist you. Nope. He's going to resist you. So I say again, why, why all this hell breaking out of my life? Because I'm not submitted. I'm not honoring God. Listen, is it, is it fair to say that the, the opposite of humility is pride? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. How about it? I can do what I want to do and get away with it. Doesn't matter. I can do what I want. Forget what God says. I'll do what I want. I'll do part of what he says and do what I want. Hmm? Not that way. With God, it's all or nothing. Love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, huh? with all your soul. Amen? I was just looking at this word resist, Bishop. To exert, to exert force and opposition. Yeah. God is opposing you. Right. To exert oneself so as to counteract or defeat. Mm -hmm. To withstand the force or the effect of. Right. Why? Because God called you. Huh? He bought you. Right. Amen? Mm -hmm. He's your Lord. Yeah. You desire to submit to him. Right. Amen? You want his blessing. So if you want his blessings... You have to do it his way. Yeah. Uh, that go against the fact. What do you mean I got to do it his way? Uh, don't I got a say? Don't I got an opinion? Nope. Uh, <laughs> this is good stuff here. This messes some people up. <laughs> it's good. Now, go over to, go over to uh, Proverbs uh, 30, Proverbs 3 and 34. Surely he scorneth the scorners, All right. but he so, giveth so, grace to... So, so hold on. He scorneth the scorners, meaning that though the, a scorner is one that uh, looks down on others. Think they better than other people. I'm better than you. You know, in... Uh, in uh, elementary school, we had, you know, back then when I was going to elementary school, they were just coming, a big thing was about Germans and Nazis and Hitler and the Holocaust and all of that. They were playing that up big, you know what I'm saying? And um, we had this uh, German boy in the class. And the whole class, even myself, treated him like dirt. Dirt. Talked about him. You know, he, he, he was poor, poor guy, poor. I was poor. But he was young and poor. He, he was poor? Him. Yeah, he was poor. You know, he, he, he didn't wear clothes. He, he just wore T-shirts to school. Right. And then... You know, on the days where you bring in a treat, he just brought in a sleeve of rich crackers. You know. I remember all that. And it wasn't until I got the Holy Ghost that I repented huh, for how I treated him. To where I, I even tried to look him up to find him to apologize. 
Uh, to where I couldn't find him, I just said, Lord, forgive me. Uh, right. Now, I wouldn't, I didn't have nothing. You follow me? But I'm here I am looking down on him. And I'm thinking I'm better than him. Huh? Why? Because what was put in my mind, right. I was being taught that. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me. Right. Huh? You got to watch out for what you're being taught. Yeah. Huh? That's right. Huh? People are taught to ignore you. Yeah. People are taught to mistreat you. That's right. Huh? That's really so you got to be careful. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they trained. They know what you trained. Wow. So we got to watch it. Watch wow. what we put in our mind. Amen. Watch what we allow ourselves to be prejudiced against. Yes. Huh? You know, you got to practice love. Yeah. It just don't come natural. You got to practice it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Who we at? Proverbs 3 and 34. All right, now notice. All right, read. Now notice, here, this, is the, this part B is what we're after. Read. Surely he scorns the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. Now notice, he gives grace to the humble. Let that sink in. Who does God give grace to? Humble. Those who submit to his will. Amen. You want God's grace, submit to his will. He resists the pride. Amen? Uh, that's huge if you receive it. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, in me, in me, I can have wars and arguments going on. I ain't got total victory. Right? But if I think about what God's word says and start to pray, God, I'm like this. I need your help. Help me. What's going to happen? By giving me what? Grace. grace. Amen. He's going to give me his strength. God's grace is his supernatural power yes. uh, to cause me to do what I don't want to do. Cause me to act what I don't want to act. Amen. He'll help me do what's right. right yeah. Amen. Till, till it becomes a habit. Amen. Y'all with me? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. All right. Now, Luke 14 and 11. I'm taking my time because I want y'all to see it in the scripture. Because I could tell y'all, and y'all forget it. But if you see it in the scriptures, you may remember it. Amen. Amen? Luke 14 and verse 11. For whosoever exalted himself shall be abased. Now note, what did he say? Whosoever exalted himself. What, what does that word exalt mean? Lift yourself, lift yourself up. Yeah, if I lift myself up, I'm lifting myself up. And I'm the best player on the team. Wow. Huh? I'm the number one preacher in the house. <laughs> huh? Nobody can teach like me. Nobody can sing like me. Yeah. I don't know why they even trying it. They should have given me the part. Huh? Right. So I'm, I'm exalting myself. Mm -hmm. I got more wisdom, knowledge than anybody else. How can they listen to me? Huh? It's me. Yeah. Me. I'm King Kong up in here. <laughs> huh? It's me. <laughs> it's me, Mother David. Huh? This is me. <laughs> she said, she said, she said, that's why King Kong was shot down. <laughs> so, 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 if I, if I'm walking with that type of attitude, what's going to happen? Where's the say? 
For whosoever exalted himself shall be abased. Now what does that word abase mean? Brought low. Brought low. Brought down. Huh? I rise to the top of my profession. Now I think I'm all that. Whew. Huh? Pride. Then comes what? Fall. Fall. Nebuchadnezzar. He built a kingdom. Lord blessed him. Huh? Then he said, look what my hands have done. Huh? Huh? Boom. There. Dead. Huh? Exalting himself. Didn't give God glory. Huh? Pride. Amen. I read what he said. And he that humbleth himself. Now notice. He that do what? Humbleth himself. You have to humble who? Yourself. Yourself. Amen. Don't let God humble you. Huh? Huh? You, you humble yourself. Uh, if he helps you, you're going to go through something. Uh, some of you don't like, you're going to go through something. Right. Amen? That's unnecessary. Some stuff we go through is unnecessary. Huh? Have my lights and gas turned off. Huh? When I got the money, I have to pay. That's unnecessary. Huh? Pay your rent. Huh? You got the money, pay the rent. That's right. You ain't got to get a tattoo. You ain't got to get a ear pierced. Yeah. Huh? Pay the rent. Right. You ain't got to get a new pair of shoes. Pay the rent. Amen. Right. Huh? You want to go right? Yeah. Unnecessary. Yeah. Huh? You get a credit card, pay the bill. At least pay the minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you with me? Uh, they want you to feel it. So you'll remember it. I remember that. I remember that pain. I remember that hurt. Uh, so I ain't going to do that no more. Uh, that's, that's, that's what a normal minded person would do. Uh, normal. Some people, like, some people like pain. Uh, that's a whole nother stuff. Come on. <laughs> Read what he said. And he that humbleth himself, he shall, that humbleth be, himself shall be exalted. Let God exalt you. Yes. If God exalts you, you gonna be exalted, and nobody can take you down. Mm. Huh? But you gotta humble yourself. Amen. Amen. God will give you the grace to stay up there. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. All right, let's go over here then. We got that? Y'all with me? Yes, sir. All right, now let's, let's go over there. We're going to wrap this up. Jeez, okay. a couple more minutes. Let's go over to uh, Philippians yeah. chapter number two. We've already established that Jesus is our example. What gets me is, is that what's in me. Right? And the enemy... Oh, we didn't hit that scripture. Y'all got to take my word for it. Jesus said, the enemy cometh and he hath nothing in me. Huh? Y'all with me? Got what that was. That's a let's let's get that. Let's get that because that's important. St. John chapter 14 and verse 30. St. John 14 and 30. Yes. I hope y'all getting helped by the Bible study tonight. Yes, Lord. Yes. I want y'all to have prosperous lives. Amen. Amen. Now, humbling yourself also means, you know, um, obeying them to have rule over you. That's a whole nother Bible study. Amen. 
It also means honoring your mother and your father. Am I right? That's a whole nother Bible study. Amen? Why? Because that's what God desires. Amen? Hallelujah. All right, where we at? St. John 14 and 30. All right, St. John 14 and 30, what's it say? Where after I will not talk with much with you. Now this is Jesus, he said in that, uh, what, what, what are you reading? St. John 14 and 30. In the beginning of that, remember he says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Yes. Uh, uh, and he said, I'm going away. Uh, right. Amen. So he's talking to them about his leaving. I'm dying. Right? All right. Now read. What's that? Read that verse again. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you. Uh-huh. For the prince of this world cometh. Now notice. He said, the devil is coming. And hath nothing in me. Now notice what he said. What he said? Nothing. Have nothing in me. Uh, got rid of lust of the flesh. Lust of the eye. And the pride of Jesus literally humbled himself unto death. Even the death of the cross. Amen. Uh, Y'all with me? Uh, so when the enemy came, uh, he, he didn't disturb him from doing the will of God. Carrying out his mission. Uh, now, I'm going to say something deep. You got to focus on your mission. Uh, excuse me. Don't allow, don't, don't allow the enemy to deter you from doing what God will is for you. Because that's his job. He going to get you off track. Get you off the mission. Get you out of the will of God. Mess you up. Huh? My brother? So this is why Jesus told Peter, get you behind me, Satan. Yeah! Because what Peter was saying was against what God wanted him to do. Yeah! See, now you got to put the whole story to it. Because, you know, some people may not know that stuff. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Well, Peter was saying that when Jesus was saying he's going to be taken and crucified and die. Right. Well, Peter said, that'd be far from you. Be far from you. In other words, you're not going to do that. Right. And Jesus told him to get behind me, Satan. Yes. Yeah. What he's talking about is against what God is telling him. I came to the world to die. Right. And you're telling me I'm not going to do it. Right. And God wants me to die, so I have to humble myself to what God wants, not what you want. Right. Now, notice what he told Peter in that verse. He said, thou uh, desires or savorest not. not the things that be of God. But the things that be of men. Huh? Come on. But the things that be of men. Huh? When you when you want, when you put man's desire above God's desire, you'll lose every time. Huh? Am I right? Hallelujah. Thank you. Do what God desires. This is a good Bible. Yeah. My God. It's helping me. It's cleaning me up. Me too. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. When I say, Lord, I'm going to do it, he's going to give me grace. When you say, Lord, I'm going to do it, he's going to give you grace. Yes. Huh? Hallelujah. So you can do it. Hallelujah. All right. Is that it? St. John 14 and... That's it. That's it for that verse. For that verse, yes. All right, let's go over to Philippians. Philippians chapter number four. Did I say four? Chapter number two. Now, this is how, because Jesus is our example, right? This is how to do it. Now, uh, thank you, Holy Ghost. It's, it goes back to, to what Sister Louise said. You know, when we are in spiritual warfare, trying to overcome our flesh, we focus on the blood of Jesus. We focus on fasting and prayer, which is good. But we also got to focus on what's in us. What, what is the hindrance? Yes. What, what, what is the enemy using? To get me out of the will of God. Huh? You with me? Say for instance, I got a lustful demon. All I see is pretty women. Huh? I see these pretty women. 
And every time I see the pretty women, I want them. Huh? I want it. Huh? Y'all with me? Huh? I desire them. I want them. I think about them. Huh? And then every time that happens, I get out of the will of God. Huh? What's causing the problem? My lust. My evil desire. Right? Huh? So what should I be attacking? My lust. My evil desire. Huh? I got to recognize that there's something in me that the enemy is using to lure me away. Huh? So I got to attack that. I can't ignore that. Huh? I'm praying for everything else but that. I'm fasting for everything else but that. So it's going to be in me until I humble myself and say, Lord, you know I got some lustful eyes. Huh? Lord, you know my heart ain't right. I need your help. Huh? Y'all don't hear me. <laughs> I got to look what's in me. I got to look at what's attracting me to, to commit the sin. Or what's attracting me not to humble myself. My sister. It's going to grow. It's going to get worse. Yep. Got to. It's going to happen. And the, and the enemy is going to keep using that. Huh? Won't he do it? Uh, lying. I lied to drop of a hat. Huh? And, 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 and I, I'm praying. I'm pleading the blood. Huh? And I'm fasting, but I ain't going after the issue. Yeah. This the issue is in me that's lying. Right. So so I gotta I gotta I gotta humble myself and say, Lord, I'm not gonna lie. Huh? I'm gonna shut my mouth. Then you gotta think about why are you lying? It's because you're insecure? Huh? You're fearful? Huh? Is it your pride? You don't want people to know your truth? <laughs> your truth. Huh? You don't want people to know? Ain't they been there? Huh? So I'm gonna lie about it. Ain't they been there? Huh? Your business ain't that great. Huh? For you to get it, for it to get you out of the will of God. Y'all with me? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. My brother just told me, it ain't your business. Just leave it alone. Yeah. You, just, you ain't got to answer everybody everything. Just say, hey, all right, we ain't going to talk about that. Yeah. And, 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 and let them handle it and you move on. So you're right. You keep the victory. That's right. Huh? Where you been? Now you been there. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to say it like that. You but you know what I'm saying? Hey! I ain't got to answer you that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so, so. Just, just say this, say this. What time is it? <laughs> huh? Uh, just, huh? Just change the subject. Yeah, yeah. You follow me? Right. All right, we're just going to read this one verse and then we're going to go. Philippians 2, verse 5 through 11. Philippians 2, verse 5 through 11. Let this mind be in you. Now notice, let this mind be uh, in go you. Go back to what Evangelist Jackie said. It's a heart thing. It's a position of the heart. Mm -hmm. Let this mind, what? Let this mind be in you. Be in you. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Read. Who being in the form of God, uh -huh. saw it not robbery to be equal with God. That means he thought it not robbery to, he didn't want to excel or exalt himself above God. Mm -hmm. uh, read. But made himself of no reputation. Uh, he didn't look to, to, to have a reputation of himself. Right. Even though we call him the King of Kings yes. and the Lord of Lords. Amen? Amen? Sometimes Jesus did miracles and said, hey, don't tell nobody. 
Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. on the house. Don't tell nobody. Yeah. Just, just yeah. go your way. Yeah. Huh? He wasn't looking for fame. Yeah. Amen. Read. But made himself of no reputation. Yeah. And took upon him the form of a servant. Notice. This is what we ought to do. Take upon us the form of a servant. Yeah. Read. And was made in the likeness of men. All right. He emptied himself. Huh? Took upon, made in the likeness of a man, the seed of a woman. Read. And being found in fashion as a man, uh -huh. he humbled himself. He did what? He humbled himself. He submitted himself. He humbled himself. Read. And became obedient. And became obedient. Unto death. Huh? Now, you humble yourself and become obedient even if it kills you. Huh? Ooh, that's a good answer to that question you asked me. <laughs> Even if it kills you. Huh? If I perish, I perish. I'm going to see the king. Now you got to have a whole other mindset. Huh? You got to be saved right now. Somebody say right now. You got to be saved right now. Huh? He humbled himself and became obedient unto death. Unto death. Even the death of the cross. All right, now notice. God resists the proud. He gives grace to the humble. Right? right. Read. Wherefore God hath also hath exalted, highly exalted. Highly exalted him. And given him a name above every, every name. name. Put, some, put some pepper on that. <laughs> <laughs> put your preacher voice on that one. Still working on that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wherefore Read. God also hath highly exalted him. Yeah. And given him a name of above, which is above every name. Every name. Read. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Every name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Of things in heaven. And things in heaven. And things in earth. Things in earth. And things under the earth. Things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess. Every tongue has got to confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. He's Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Wow. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Amen. We made it through.